Hello everyone. We're very excited to announce the first ever natural history study on ZC4H2 associated rare disorders, or ZARD for short. As a parent of a child affected by this rare disorder, which is caused by a mutation in the ZC4H2 gene, you may have heard about natural history studies. But what exactly are natural history studies, and why should you consider participating? In this video, we'll discuss the purpose of natural history studies and how they can benefit your child, your family, and the entire ZARD community. First of all, a bit of information about the study. The study is conducted by Dr. David Bearden, pediatric neurologist at the University of Rochester, and his team. The ZC4H2 Research Foundation collaborates with Dr. Bearden, providing information and connecting families. What is a natural history study? A natural history study is a type of research study that aims to understand the natural progression of a particular medical condition over time in the absence of an effective therapy or treatment. The study collects and records data about the course of a particular condition and the changes that take place in a group of individuals over time. This data can be used by researchers to better understand the condition, its progression, and its causes. In some cases, the data can be used to develop treatments and provide helpful information for healthcare providers. It is important to note that a natural history study doesn't involve any treatment. Participants continue receiving their usual care through their regular healthcare providers. Participation in a natural history study is a powerful way to make a difference in the life of your own child and in the lives of everyone affected by ZARD. Being part of this study is important for several reasons. Allow me to explain. First, this natural history study will help researchers, doctors and families to better understand ZARD and how it affects our children over time. Second, by participating in this natural history study, parents can help elucidate the whole spectrum of symptoms. This information might lead to more effective screening strategies. Third, parents can help researchers identify what has worked and what hasn't over the course of the life of the child. All this knowledge can ultimately lead to new treatments and therapies that can improve the lives of all children with ZC4H2-associated rare disorders. Moreover, it will prepare the ground for potential clinical trials on ZARC. In addition, participating in a natural history study can help to raise awareness about the condition among the medical community and the general public. This can lead to improved diagnosis and care for children with the disorder. The main goals of this study are to gain a better understanding of ZARD, to provide information to families and the medical community and ultimately to help in the planning of potential clinical trials. The ZARD Natural History Study has been specifically designed to study and document the progression of ZARD over time, from before birth to the present moment, and even further in time, with a follow-up of a minimum of two years from the start of the study. You can enroll your child by contacting either Dr. Bearden's team or the ZC4H2 Research Foundation on the emails presented at the end of this video. The entire study happens remotely and involves video calls or phone calls of about 90 minutes with Dr. Bearden and his team. During these calls you will answer a clinical questionnaire and your child will have a remote developmental and neurological assessment. The calls will happen every six months for a duration of two years. You will be required to share a copy of the genetic test of your child and possibly other reports. It is worth noting that participation in a natural history study is voluntary and can be stopped at any time. The data collected during the study is kept confidential and it is identified to protect the children's privacy. The data will only be used for research purposes. If you have any question or would like to enroll, please contact us through any of these email addresses. We look forward to your participation in this natural history study and to the benefits it will bring to our ZARD community. Thank you and goodbye.